And a very good morning to you. It is Tuesday morning, the 2nd of November, the year 2021. And this is your friend Angus Bucken with a thought for the day. If we go to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 19. But when they deliver you up, do not worry about how or what you should speak, for it will be given to you in that hour what you should speak. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of our Father who speaks in you. It is the Lord himself that must direct our words and nothing else. You know, I can tell a man who is preaching a message from the pulpit straight away, if it's from heaven or if it's uh, something that has been warmed up from the week before. If it's a word from heaven, it is like hot bread coming out of the oven. Delicious to eat. Yes, we need to speak what God tells us. You know, if you're speaking something that you've learned, uh, something that's not from God, there's no passion. There's no conviction. It's just a case of going through the motions and it will fall on deaf ears. It will achieve nothing. People are starving at the moment for the word of life. People are looking for hope, for direction, for truth, and most of all, they're looking for love. You and I need to spend more time in the presence of God than we do preparing flowery messages which are lifeless. People want to know what is God saying about the situation. If we look at um, John chapter 1 and verse 47, Jesus told Nathanael all about himself before Nathanael had ever met him. Let's just read it in verse 47. Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him, and he said to him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no deceit. He told him about his character. He told him who he was and where he had come from. And that instantly converted Nathanael to follow after Jesus. You know, I was preaching a couple of years ago on the television, and I felt prompted by the Holy Spirit to point my finger towards the screen and say there is a lady watching this program and God says you are going to conceive and you are going to fall pregnant and you are going to have a baby. Well, nine months later, <laughs> she had a beautiful baby child. Now, I didn't even know who she was. I didn't know that she was watching the television. I just simply did what I've believe the Holy Spirit told me to do. Today, go out and bless somebody. Just speak life over them. Tell them what Jesus means to you. Have a blessed day. God bless you and goodbye.